Okay. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the stream tonight. So, the game that we're playing tonight, um, <clears throat> I went to Twitter. This week's been a pretty busy week for like just retro gaming stuff on Twitter. Uh, make sure you get over there and, and follow me there, or on Instagram as well, um, as at, at retrogamingdev. Um, but it was a busy week, and I saw a lot of different games that I was really just people chatting about things and I was like oh I need to play that I need to play that so um, I put up a poll on Thursday to see if uh, everyone could help me narrow down the choices and uh, here's the results of that poll um, it was between Star Tropics, Kickle Cubicle, Dragon Spirit and then Power Drift uh, which is like a Sega arcade game kinda like Outrun but a little bit newer so um, but as you can see in those results, Star Tropic came out on top. Star Tropics, uh, if you're not aware of the game, it's a Nintendo game for the uh, original um, Nintendo Entertainment System. That one right there, the nice gray brick. Uh, the game came out in 1990. Um, kind of a unique uh, situation with this one. It was developed for, um, for North America and Europe specifically so it didn't as far as I know at least according to Wikipedia and I don't think it ever officially was released in Japan I'm sure it made it over there in some form I mean we get their games that don't come out here you know through import and you know people porting and translating and whatnot but the game was specifically developed for North America and Europe so it's kind of interesting um, and like I said it was released in 1990 so that's kind of toward the end of the it was late in the Nintendo's life cycle. Um, uh, you know, the Super Nintendo was coming out in, I think it came out in 1991, I want to say. So it's, uh, you know, it's fairly late in the Nintendo life cycle. Um, this is a game that I've never played, to be honest. So, um, which is, you know, one of those things that it's been on, it's probably been on my to do list the longest of any game. To be honest, it's um. I mean, I remember reading about it in Nintendo Power, thinking, "Wow, this game is really, really cool. I need to play it." But it just never happened. I never got around to renting it or buying it. Um, never played it, and then you know, you move on to the next system, and kind of you don't look back and often and go back and at least back then you didn't go back and play those games you missed and um, this was one of them so it's it's definitely widely regarded as, regarded as a great game it ended up on the NES Classic Edition as one of the 30 games on there let's see here the game also came out on the Wii Virtual Console uh, in 2008 um, and the Wii U Virtual Console in 2015 it looks like um, and like I said, also on the Nintendo Classic Edition. Of the game follows Mike as he travels to visit his uncle, an archaeologist by the name of Dr. Stephen Jones, at his laboratory on a fic fictional sea island in the South Seas. When Mike arrives at Dr. Jones' home in the tropical village of Coracola, he finds that his uncle has gone missing. The chief of Coracola gives Mike a special yo-yo to defend himself, and Dr. Jones' assistant permits Mike to use his uncle's submarine to search for him. On a nearby island, Mike's, Mike finds a bottle with a message from Dr. Jones stating he's been abducted by extraterrestrials. Traveling to many of the isles in the South Seas, Mike encounters monsters, labyrinths, quirky characters, and intelligent animals, including a talking parrot and a mother dolphin looking for her son, all in the search for his lost uncle. So, sounds like a cool adventure game. Um, the general style of the game is a 2D top-down perspective. It's been compared a lot to like the original Zelda game. And I think it was kind of built to kind of, um, you know, be sort of a spiritual successor to that type of game. Um, you know, um, and in fact, I think when we start playing, you'll see a lot of similarities right away. Uh, I also just pulled up the instruction manual. Um, there's two different phases, travel stage and battle stage. During the travel stage, the D-pad moves, Mike or the sub, uh, A talk and talks, and B for the sub, submerging. Um, and then selects to check status. Mike can't use any weapons or items during the travel stage, okay. 
Um, we can talk. Most islanders are friendly. When you face them, you press A, so that's fairly standard. And then we enter the tunnel or cave, the battle stage begins, and D-pad moves mic. Select uh, use to quickly choose a new weapon without stopping battle, and start goes to a pause screen where you can choose weapons and magic items. Uh, B is attack, and A is jump. Alright, Star Tropics. So, now the similarities, as I was saying, to Legend of Zelda are apparent right away. The If you've played Legend of Zelda, you probably recognize this start screen. Um, so let's see here, register my name. There we go, registered. Number one prelude. On day, one day in the summer, you land on Sea Island where Dr. Jones has his laboratory. Okay. All right, so now I'll just start exploring, I guess, right? Again, I know nothing about this game anymore. I mean, I, I used to read that Nintendo Power article quite a bit, but it's been a long time and I don't have it anymore. So, welcome to Coracola. Okay. Uh, welcome to Sea Island. Okay. Mike, you're an ace pitcher right here. Show me how to throw a fastball sometime. Alright. Will do. Link, link. Pig have a little butthole there. <laughs> okay. Alrighty then. I have to hurry. I'm gonna roast a pig for your welcome party. Oh no, that poor pig. You don't really. You don't have to do that. That's okay. Let the pig live. Um, who are you? Stay away from here. Okay. Fair enough. Where do you come from, Americola? I come from America. Your uncle, Dr. Jones, is so nice. We call him Dr. J. Oh, last week I met Dr. J. He was very busy solving some strange puzzles. Sounds like something my uncle would do. Last night I gazed up at the Southern Cross. Suddenly I saw many shooting stars. Legends say shooting stars are omens of disaster. Oh me, oh my. Alright. Looks like a little kid. Mike, your uncle told me about you. I feel like we are old friends. Alright, who's this guy? He looks like the chief or something. I've been waiting for you. I'm Chief Cor Cor Coral Cola and a good friend of your uncle. Listen, Mike, I have some bad news. Last night, try not to be upset, but your uncle, Dr. Jones, has been abducted. We must keep this from the islanders so they don't panic. You are the best hope of rescuing Dr. Jones. I don't know what to do. Can you help? I don't really have a choice, probably, but yes. Good, you're brave. Take this island yo-yo. You may think this yo-yo is just a toy, but it's very powerful. Like you're an ace pitcher. Use it. You got a yo-yo. All right. Mike, it looks peaceful around here, but in the dark below, many monsters have appeared these last few years. Don't let them get... You. Mike, the fate of your uncle is in your hand. Find a tunnel in the village and hurry to Dr. J's laboratory. Alright. You're now at chapter one. Okay. Alright, where's the tunnel? I bet you it's that guy that's blocking the way. I'm just going to talk to her real quick. Have you met her chief yet? He's waiting for you. Yep, met him. Did that. Let's keep moving. Uh, I'm heading out, so don't worry about that pig for me. Thanks. Oh, you're Dr. J's nephew? Here's the tunnel. Good luck. Oh boy. I'm the shaman and sister of the island chief. Your uncle was abducted because he found a secret in the lost ruins. I will have great hope that you will succeed in rescuing Dr. Jones. Just like your... Your North Star, Island Sailors, look for the Southern Cross. Alright. That's, uh... Mike, many wild monsters await you in the Dark World, but remember, the magic of the Southern Cross is always on your side. Now begin the test of the island. Courage, good luck. Look away the jumping. Hmm. I wonder if something's broken, but... We'll see. Oh, I see. Okay. 
test this out, get the controls down. Okay, there was a star. Looks like I can hit things with my yo-yo to pick it up. Okay. Seems straightforward enough. Well, so far I like it. It's fun. I mean, this is further than I've ever gotten in the game, so... <laughs> I'm kind of ashamed to say, just because it's such a classic game, but, you know, it's a... I want to make sure I gave... Whenever I played it the first time, I wanted to really give it, you know, a good time and all that. So these green blocks, it looks like... Uh, you do have to jump on them. I can't walk into them. It's like they're walls until you jump on top of them. Now that one revealed a button. Okay. I wonder if there's anything else hidden in here. No. Looks like it. Alright. Hit the button. Let's keep going. To the tunnels. So far the controls are good too. It's a little, um... It's not... It's a little clunkier than like Zelda, but not too bad. I mean, um, it's like you don't immediately turn right, you kind of like see that pause. So I'm hitting it and it takes a second to do it, but I think that's partially to do with the way the game works. What's that do? Oh, I see, okay. All right. Cool. So anytime you move, you move. It looks like you move a full square each move. So if I hit, you know, right, I'm gonna go a full square to the right. So it's not. Ah. use a heart about this point, because uh, I don't know how quickly I'm going to die. Alright. Oh. Okay. Check all these. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Found a secret. Well, it's not that secret, I guess, but. Ooh, a chest. Ooh. So if I press select, I can switch between those. Pause. I see that's a door, uh, it's a closed door, okay, alright. I wonder if I should have gone left or right before I went this way. Well, if anyone's here in the chat, please feel free to, you know, throw some tips at me if you have anything. If I'm doing something glaringly wrong, I'm okay with some help. You know. the bad music about. Oh, oh. Where the hell did he go? I'm gonna guess these are gonna come in handy, I'm sure. Um, do I wanna go to the right? I wonder. What would that do? I'm 
can tell this is going to be a deep game. Probably open that door. I'm guessing it was closed before. Now, which way do I want to go first? Oh, sweet. That's a potion, I believe. Or medicine. I feel like I could... Oh, see? Gotta jump on all the blocks. I didn't even jump on them all. Second one. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh boy. I don't know how I feel about that. I feel like I got ripped off a little bit there. through all these different things and then the last one they force you into, like so I didn't push into that room I it just jumps you in that first step so that's funny I'm gonna go this way this time just to see what's in here I feel like I should try to get rid of these bats if I can before I start dealing with these snakes I don't know if this is a good use for these torches or not, but it seems to be working. Okay. Problem is I got one hit left now. I've got to be perfect now. Oh yeah! Oh, I missed the star. <laughs> okay. Cool. I'm out of torches. Nice. I think I beat the first boss. Is that a boss or a mini boss? I don't know. I got the happy music though. Cool. All right. Wow, you've done it. I feel like I missed a lot in that cave, but that's all right. You can always go back, I suppose. All right. Let's see here. Alright, just checking on a couple things here real quick.
All right, sorry about that. Let's see here. I'm now at chapter one. Okay, cool. Um, looks like there's a guy here to talk to. Hi, I'm Babu, Dr. J's assistant. Mike, you know Dr. J has a submarine called Sub C. The ID code to the start to start the engine of Sub C is 1492. Now I should remember that, but I'm gonna write it down just in case, because you know it's probably gonna be important. Memorize the ID code. Oh, it looks like it's in my inventory. Oh. I wish I could tell you more, but I'm afraid of, of... I'm Babu. Okay, okay. Alright. You don't need to talk to me again. Alright. So far, I'm really liking this game. This is a lot of fun. I like the graphics. They remind me of kind of a mix between... They remind me a lot of like Final Fantasy 1, to be honest. Um, and then, obviously, Legend of Zelda a bit. Oh cool, that guy looks like Rob the Robot. Probably intentional, I'm assuming. In the cockpit of Subsea. Welcome on board, I am the navigational computer of Subsea. Call me Navcom. I'm gonna call you Rob. Input the ID code now. ID code 1492, start engine. Aye aye, Captain. Subsea is ready to launch. All ahead full. Oh, they're waving at me. As I go off on my journey. Now saving your data. Number two, dolphins. After a few hours of voyage, Subsea is still cruising on the ocean. What's that? Some rocks or something, I suppose. Uh oh. Hey, a dolphin. Quee quee quee. Quee 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 quee. Navcom here, Captain. She's a female dolphin. We'll begin translation. Please find my son, he has disappeared. Captain, may I promise her to find her boy dolphin? <sighs> I suppose. Aye aye, Captain. Thank you, please find my son. Well, we, if we had some information to like, where to start looking, that would be nice. I mean, I'm assuming that's the boundary, I can't go outside of that, okay. Can I just jump off anywhere here, or do I have to find a dock? Looks like I need a dock. Okay, I see a dock in there on inland. Maybe? A tunnel? Oh, cool. Okay. Now I'm inland. Okay. Well, start here, I suppose. It's got some catchy music to it. Kind of islandy music. Hello! Hello, I maintain the lighthouse. You're looking for a boy dolphin. Sorry, but I have not seen him. Oh, please visit my wife at her south house. She enjoys company. Alrighty then. Will do, sir. Mm -hmm. Guess this way? Oh, a tree blocks away. Okay. What is that? It's like a school of fish over there. Alright. And it looks like this is all blocked by foot, so I'm guessing I gotta get back on the sub. I don't know if that... does that do anything? We are now at chapter 2. Okay. Well, that's it for there, it looks like. something. Hey, you can tell this game is uh, later in the NES life cycle. The graphics and music and sound and just everything presentation-wise is done really well. I'm assuming if I keep going this way, I'll end up back at... Back at the island, but... 
maybe not. Doesn't look like I can submerge yet. Okay, that's not really going back anywhere. It just seems to be going forever that direction. But I didn't have to go that far back. Oh, so something here. I have to do something to get off here, apparently. Alright, I'm missing something. It's probably plainly obvious. If anyone has any advice for me, please let me know. I won't turn down. Oh, I'm guessing I know what that is, huh? Is that? Okay. Alright, I get it. I don't know what that is, though. The wave. Okay, I see. That was, see, I was thinking that was like a, those little dots were a school of fish or something. <clears throat> but they are, in fact, indicative of a tunnel going across the place. Hello. Welcome, welcome. It's so seldom my husband and I get visitors, so you're looking for a boy dolphin. Sorry, but I have not seen him. But early this morning, I saw a little saw a bottle on the beach. I wonder if it's a clue to the lost dolphin. Well, that's a good place to check. So I'm guessing. Oh, over there. Okay. So oh oh cool. It's a tunnel. Oh, I see. There's a little bit of gray on the on the sand there. You've got a bottle. There's a note in the bottle. You read it. Help captured by evil aliens. Call my nephew. Use code 1776. Doctor J. Memorize the I code. ID code. You want to read it again? No. Okay. All right. That wasn't helpful for the dolphin, but that was helpful for my uncle, I think. Let's just check in with her real quick. See if she has anything different to say now. Welcome, welcome. Da, da, da. Yeah, that's it. That's it. She has nothing to do with the dolphin. I wonder. Let's see here. Napcom here, input the code now. 1776, submergible system rate. Oh, okay, so that unlocks the submarine portion of this vessel. Cool. Which I'm gonna guess this is. Cool. I see there's a heart container up there. I kinda want that, don't I? I'm gonna guess. So. Got a big heart. What's the big heart do when your level is increased? Nice, so I got six hearts now. Is there any more special hidden stuff here? No, oh, that's it. There's a cave here. I like how it automatically saves for you. That's pretty cool. Oh, wow. That's... That's not cool. Ooh, a baseball bat. Nice. Come over here. Give me a heart container. Or a small heart. Or something to heal with. That'd be... Stupendous. No. No. Okay. So, <sighs> stupid bat. So I can't attack diagonal. That is one thing that is kind of not terrible, but uh, you just have to kind of plan things out, you know, accordingly. But You know, you know, I'll be honest, this game controls really well. Um, I saw a lot of people kind of complaining about the controls. I mean, don't get me wrong, you, it's um, it's not like super free-flowing, so you're kind of moving on this grid pattern. But as long as you get it down, it's not that, it's 
not that bad. Works pretty well, actually. Oh, what the hell is that? Oh, come on. Now, as I say that, the game gets a little more intense and the controls are <laughs> now being a hindrance. Okay. That, that, that. Those look like Octoroks, or whatever they're called in Legend of Zelda. They don't appear to be shooting anything, though. That's a good thing. Okay. Oh, there's a button. I must have... Oh, I see. I jumped on that block. To reveal the button. Yeah, I like this. It's got a little bit of puzzle to it. Puzzle elements, which is kind of cool. Oh, no. Hmm. Okay, so the bat has a very specific use in that it can go diagonal. But now, why would I even want to go up in this corner? It doesn't appear there's anything up there. Oh, well. Um, I can just, I just know there's going to be secrets tucked around here. In fact, that room up there, there is, it looks like a little bit of a darker spot in the grass. I'm guessing you, there's a tunnel or something that will lead there from that room there, it looks like. So I just have to find out how to get in there. There's a couple hearts in there, that's good. Could use those now, a couple more bats. Alright, there's that tunnel. Which I'm guessing revealed that button. Which opens that door. music. Oh, did I just attack diagonal? After I said I couldn't? Oh, I don't have to fight him. Whoa. I don't know if that's a good, if I should fight him or not, but I have one heart left, so I'm not going to mess around with it. And it was the last block. These bats, if they were nice, they'd give me a... That's funny, so you don't have to always kill all of the enemies, it's just the certain enemy. A specific enemy. Which is kind of cool, I guess. Could save time if I found the right one ahead of time. Get over here, you. Give me a heart. So now that... Oh. Oh, these guys suck. Secret room there. I see that now. Snowman? Snowman. I'm gonna check the manual on that one because I don't remember what the snowman is. Let's see here. Um, snowman. Just looking through the manual. Um, snowman doll. It's a magic item. Magic item of, of temporary ability. Impossible to store for later use. It doesn't tell you what it does though. It just says that it's there. Well that doesn't help too much, but we'll figure it out. Wait. Oh, magic item. Okay. Don't know what that is. We'll save it for some time that seems like I can use it. Probably. Oh crap. Ugh. Ugh. Well, we're a couple rooms back. Oh, hey. Uh, hey guys. 
see a couple people showed up uh, in chat. Uh, <clears throat> hey, these guys are on Twitter with me all the time. So thanks for coming by, guys. Um, yeah, I let the puffer fish win. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> Got any advice? Playing PC Engine. Join Twitch. You want to watch Nate play? Oh, nice. Well, thanks for joining Twitch just to watch me play. That's thoughtful. Thanks to both of you for stopping by. If you got any advice for me on this puffer fish, please let me know. I don't know if either of you have played this game or not, but uh, um, I'm just kind of winging it at this point. So I went this uh, yeah, the starfish, man. They're tricky. And now, does anyone know what the snowman does? The instruction manual doesn't really say. I feel like I'd try it. Just see what happens. No puffer fish that time. Very minimal experience with the game. Okay. Fair enough. Hey, there's a. I'm guessing that's a, the missing dolphin. Oh, come on. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna do the freeze when he comes down so I can do massive amounts of damage to him. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna do it on the next one. That was a little hectic there. The bullet spray was not. Looking, oh my gosh, this guy is hard. <laughs> okay, freeze. Okay, now don't get hit because I have no health left. This is ridiculous. But if he comes down again, I have one more snowman for him. Use the snowman, don't unpause it. Okay, here we go. Did I beat him? Is that it? Did I kill him? Yes! Alright. <clears throat> One of the hardest bosses in the game. <laughs> well, it's interesting that they put it right at the beginning, I guess. Get it out of the way. I did it! Yes! I feel really good about that. I feel like a good spot. I was getting a little frustrated uh, that I might not uh, advance past that in my first stream, so. Wow, you've done it! Now saving your data. Refrain from turning your power off or reset. Good luck. That's it. So I saved the dolphin. That is, that's awesome. Well, I couldn't have done it without you guys there to cheer me on. So thank you for for helping me with that. Wait, 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 wait. Navcom here, Captain. He is the boy dolphin. He is thanking us for saving him. Let's signal his mother. Paging mother dolphin. We'll never find. We'll never forget your kindness. Now we must help you. Please follow me. Please follow me. Okay. Ah, oh, they're taking me to somewhere. <laughs> yeah, with half a heart, it was close. I was getting stressed out there. <laughs> okay, so they got me out of that little area. That's cool. That's cool. All right. Feeling pretty pumped about that. Number three, storm and calm. Suddenly it gets dark and stormy on the ocean. The sea tosses subsea. Uh oh. Oh no. My sub, it's crashed in the rocks and I'm laying on the beach. Dang. Dang. You awaken to find subsea was wrecked in the storm. It's always strangely calm after a storm. All right, so I'm actually going to call it at this point. Um, I do 
uh, I, I am definitely going to keep going on this game. This is a lot of fun. So a good start on the game. I definitely like the game, and I'm going to keep playing it. Um, and, uh, yeah, maybe maybe my next stream will be for this game because I'm having a pretty good time with it. So maybe next weekend. Uh, if not, though, um, I might I might kind of do a little series with this game. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But, uh, yeah. Thanks for everyone to everyone for showing up. I really appreciate it. Um, it's fun to have people to chat with here and actually kind of cheer me on. Uh, I almost gave up on that last little section, so thanks for sticking with me there, guys. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna end it out here. And if you haven't yet, uh, hit the subscribe button. I appreciate it. Um, I'm also over on YouTube, Retro Gaming Dev. Uh, Twitter and Instagram and uh, yeah thanks for stopping by and uh, we'll see you see you later on